what's up my viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel this is called tea time with lady let's thank you guys so much for taking the time out to click on let me share with you five spiritual disciplines that will help you to grow in 2023 first one is worship what is worship in my own words worship is bowing down to god total surrendering to your maker and allowing the holy spirit to lead you into worship the bible says when you worship god you must be must worship him in spirit and in truth i love to worship the lord I love worshiping God in my own little private ways, um, being at home, maybe sometimes in my room, just worshiping God in my own little way. And I love public worship also, fellowshipping with God's people, going to church to worship God. In the Bible, in New Testament, uh, um, it speaks about when Jesus went into the synagogue to worship the Lord. We are supposed to worship God in spirit and in truth. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead us into true worship. That's worship. And that's what I will do. But more of it, worship God with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. It says in the word, in God's presence, there is fullness of joy. I want to experience the fullness of joy. I will stay right in his presence and worship him. Spirit, teach me how to worship him. The next one that we would like to look at is prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is giving our attention to God in a two-way spiritual relationship where we talk to God and also listen to him. Relationship with God. Prayer is communicating with your master, putting aside um, some time to communicate with him. A good relationship is based on a good communication, right? If you don't have good communication in the relationship, I think that relationship you know, it's going to fail. Don't wait until you have it to pray. Don't wait until the Lord bless you to pray. Pray. We are to pray more. Find time. Ask the Holy Spirit again because the Holy Spirit is our teacher. So I cannot do without him. I always have to depend on him. Let him choose the time. And when the Holy Spirit is saying, go ahead and pray. Don't say, I am busy doing a lot of things. Put aside that time and pray. Your prayer doesn't have to be a hour. It doesn't have to be, you know, two hours. It can be like a one minute, a five minutes prayer. You can just um, pray to him. It's even to say, thank you, Lord. Pray and pray. It is early in the morning because the Bible says, and also, so find the time to pray. One of the books that I love to read in the Bible is Luke 11. When the disciples ask Jesus, um, teach us how to pray. And let's read what it says. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sin. For also forgive everyone who sin against us and lead us not into temptation. So prayer is very much important. One is fasting. Fasting. Whoa. Fasting is a big thing that many persons are struggling with nowadays. And persons look at fasting in different ways. But, you know, whatever fast the Holy Spirit um, puts you on, go ahead and do that fast. I believe in different types of fasting. Yes, the Bible speaks of the fasting in Isaiah, but I definitely believe in Daniel fasting, Esther fasting, and all this. And I did a video about the different types of fasting. You can check this video out about fasting. So a time of fasting, fasting is very, very much important. So we need to do much of that in 2023. Another thing that we need to do to help us to grow spiritually, uh, spiritual discipline is service, service. And what is service? 
um what can i say we got an i don't even have enough money <laughs> but you can love each other serve one another show kindness to one another help each other it's not about our life only but we can do things you know um to his people you know service in our community service in our church don't just sit there and think that oh i can't do nothing i'm not even qualified to do anything just go ahead and do for god if it's even for you to pray for somebody if it's even for you to show kindness whatever the lord will have you to do just go ahead and do it serve him i will serve the lord with all my heart i will serve the lord um the lord asks peace our question and i always look at that when i think about serving he said he asked him three times he said peter lovest thou me and he said well well, if you do love me, feed my sheep. So what you can do is even send a message, a WhatsApp message to somebody to just tell them, encourage them about God. Or you have a lot of unsaved um, friends and family. You can tell them about God. That's serving, you know, give a, give somebody encouraging a word. It's not like going to serve your country and not telling nobody to go take out the long sword. No, you don't have to do that. You can serve the Lord um within your own right all right so whatever lord will press on your heart to how to serve him go ahead and do so start a ministry hey i'm not telling you to go and start a church no i'm not but your ministry can be like a prayer line a bible study something that you and your peers do you know we're gonna start we're gonna pray every three o'clock your time build a build a group um, even in your community, find some young people and say, this is a worship group. This is a group that we can, you know, study the Bible together. You know, tell somebody, do something, do a soup kitchen or something. Just spread the word. However, the Holy Spirit will have you to spread the word. Another one that I will be looking at, reading the word of God. My God, reading the word of God. The word of God is the direction that we all need you know um i love to travel and if i don't know where i'm going i lost right you will get lost you'll get um you will be lost so the word of god is the direction um to show you what to do that's all the lord speak with us also the word of god is speaking the word of god is a whole lot of stuff the word of god is healing the word of god is miracle the word of god is what draw you closer to god and it's time for us to read the word. It says, study to show thyself approve. Sometimes we don't even understand the word of God. But go ahead and um, read the word and ask the Holy Spirit to give you direction. And he will direct my path. Um, for 2023, I'm going to make my life a little bit different and add these things to my life. So I just want to share them with you and I hope they were helpful. So the first one, worship. The second one what, that we did was prayer. And the third one that we did was fasting. And the fourth one was service. And the fifth one is read the word of the Lord. People of God, go ahead and meditate. Start now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait until next year to start. Start right now. The time is now. Go ahead and discipline yourself and share this video and help somebody to get there. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening and for watching, for clicking Tea Time with Lady Reds. God bless you.